slam, work it back, filter that, baby bump that track, groove slam, work it back, filter that, baby bump that track, groove slam, work it back, space cowboy just play that track, ga ga in the room, so star struck, cherry 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 boom boom, rolling out to the club on the weekend, styling out to the beat that you're freaking, fantasize on the track that you tweak can blow my Hey, this is Jenna Black with Organic Underground, and we're here at the Gay Pride Parade in Orlando, around Lake Yola, Sunday, 10, 10, 10, with Raw and Spectrum Group, so we have Pride. So I live near Rollins, and I know Rollins is very supportive of the LGBT community, so I uh, absolutely wanted to acknowledge that. Awesome. Thank you. And how long has Watermark been going on? Watermark's been around for 16 years now. 16 years, 16 years yeah. Wow. We distribute about 20,000 papers every other week in Orlando and Tampa Bay. Nice. And what kind of what sorts of things do you cover? I mean, obviously it's a... It's news, culture, uh, interviews. We have an interview with Greg Lugain, the Grand Marshal, uh, uh, that kind of stuff. Great paper. Well, thank you. Okay. All right. Any questions that you have for us? Why are you here? Uh, we're actually uh, the Orlando Sisters, and we're an official mission of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. So we dress up as nuns to kind of uh, make sure that people don't feel guilty about what they do. We do safe sex outreach, we raise money for charities, and it's all about that. So actually one of the things that we do is that we hand out little things of space here for safe sex. So that's, that's one of the things that we do, and it also has our web... Oh, and there's a lot of original artwork in there too, so... But that's our website, so there's a lot of information there also. Oh, yeah. so uh, the Orlando sisters have uh, been around probably since about uh, October, November of last year. Right. And, is it a national group? Uh, this is a national group, okay. and it was actually started in San Francisco back in uh, 19... <laughs> of course, of course. Of course yeah. In fact, San Francisco is our, our big sister house. Oh, cool. So, um, but when you become, uh, when you start becoming a mission, you actually have to select a mentor house, and there are mentors right now. Oh, nice. So, when but, did you... How long does the process take for you to get this? Well, uh, there's actually. Orlando and... Well, as far as becoming a mission, uh, there's a lot of steps along the way. So we have to hold a bunch of uh, charity events, we have to become a 501c3 organization, yeah. uh, bylaws, policies, procedures, all of that. Um, get registered with the IRS. But um, as far as the individual journey goes, uh, we have different stages, and you spend a certain amount of time in each stage, and there are certain classes you have to perform in each stage. So, uh, as an uh, we have an aspirant, so basically, if you're just curious about the group, you start there, and then once you decide, I really want to go forward with this, you become a posture, like my little sister here, yeah. and um, then you have to spend time manifesting with the group. You don't take the lips yet, uh, because you don't speak for the house yet. Oh, okay. Then, after you spend a lot of time there, you become a novice, like my little sister here, and during this stage, you've got to go out with the group more, and uh, you actually have to have a novice project where you raise money for a local organization. Okay. And then after that, right, exactly, and then you start painting your list and you can start talking about it. Okay. And then after that, you become a fully professed sister. I'm a senior novice because you're on the fully professed house. So once we become a fully professed house, uh, the senior sisters will become fully professed sisters. So I'm not a fully professed sister. I'm just a senior novice. And what type of events do you do? Um, and, and any, anything. Anything, actually. Any kind of fun thing to come up right, with? Right, any type of fun thing. It could be a chili cook off. It could be a kickball game. Um, okay. <laughs> we, we, we've actually done a Christmas in July fundraiser for uh, Open Health. Because the food pantry usually runs dry in the middle of the year, so Christmas in July. It brings out the generosity and they raise money for that. So it's really finding local groups that need support and that's what we support. Right, so that also shows that the community does not only care about their own issues, but cares about everybody else's. Exactly. Well, there's a lot of issues going on legislation that's like, oh, it's all, it's all about our legislation and blah, 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 and they don't realize that you guys do a lot more than you. So
Lynn University out of Boca Raton, and then the Pink Flag parents from Warren uh, County came over to walk for those who can no longer walk for themselves. The kids that have been brutally murdered because of being you know, LGBT family members. We have one gay murder every nine days. We have one gay bashing every six hours in America, and that's what we know of, and only one in eight gets reported. And then we had uh, 10 suicides in the month of September alone, and since August 1st, we've had 11 gay murders. It's shocking, and the world needs to know that. And how can we celebrate pride in who we are as people without honoring the people we've lost in our fight to get the freedom that these young folks and these folks are remembering and saying their lives matter? Because right now, it is. It's, it's for all of us. We have a website. We do. Gay, GayAmericanHeroes.com. And uh, visit us. And yeah, uh, yeah, please. Yeah, we have an Adopt a Hero program. We have a parks program. And we, we always need people to walk in the parade and represent those kids. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. As you see, all the different folks. And it's, it's all possible to Lawrence King, or the uh, the kid that just dropped suicide wise, or Matthew Shepard? Years ago, Matthew Shepard. Matthew Shepard, yeah. 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 Right, well that's, yeah. that is. That was very sad. Right. And it's really cool to acknowledge everybody else when only one gets national coverage yeah. to acknowledge. Yeah, they should. They should get very yeah. under. This is Lawrence King. Lawrence King was 15 years old. He gave another kid a Valentine's Day card for Valentine's Day. He was shot in the back of the head, execution style, in a public zoo in Oxnard, California. Right by the kid, he gave the Valentine's Day card. And that fortune you came back four days later and shot him in the back of the head. He was openly gay.
starstruck, cherry, 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 boom, boom. Rolling out to the club on the weekends, styling out to the beat that you're freaking. Fantasize on the 